Okay, we have here another interesting integral on the board. We have the integral of x squared minus one over x to the fourth plus one dx. Okay, this is pretty interesting looking. The trouble we have, don't have an easy way to factor the denominator. We'd like that to be a minus. If that was a minus, we could do difference of squares and then we'd actually, it would simplify real easily. What I wanna do is something different. What we'll try to do is multiply top and bottom by one over x squared. This trick seems to help a lot in many cases. So let's rewrite this and see what we get. One x times x squared is gonna be one minus one over x squared. Then multiplying it on the denominator, the first term is gonna be x squared plus one over x squared. And then the whole point of this, we want to factor this denominator and there's actually, there's a choice, okay? So we could do this a couple ways. We could write this as x plus one over x squared. Notice when you square that out, you get x squared plus one over x squared plus two. We don't have a two, so we'll subtract that off. Then very similarly, we could write this as x minus one over x squared. Multiplying that out, you get a negative two. We don't have that, so we'll just add a two so that we're not changing the expression. Okay, but now we gotta figure out which one of these are we gonna use. Well, it's all about what the sign is here in the numerator. When we wanna make a u substitution, we'll make, we wanna make this our u, to, that's gonna really simplify nice, but then what's gonna happen when we differentiate? When we differentiate the second one, we're gonna have, this is gonna be x to the minus one. When we differentiate, it's gonna make that a positive. What we wanna do is use this first one, because when we differentiate that, we're gonna get our negative sign back. So let's just see how that's gonna work. Okay, I've just rewritten the denominator in the form of this first equation. Now I'll make my u substitution. So I'm gonna call u this x plus one over x, and then our du, derivative of x is one. This we can write as x to the minus one. So when we differentiate that, we're gonna get minus x to the minus two. I'll write that as a one over x squared. And you can see that worked perfectly, kind of like what I was saying there, we got our minus sign. And so our numerator is gonna be our du. So let's make this substitution. We're gonna have du over u squared minus two. But what I'm gonna do is, let's write this. We always want it as a squared term. So we'll write it as square root of two squared. And now I think we have this right where we want it because we can use this formula here, this inverse hyperbolic tangent formula is very useful for a situation like this. What we'll do here is we're just gonna call, square root of two is gonna be our a, and then we kinda just plug stuff the way we have this formula over here. So this is gonna be minus one over our a, square root of two, tangent inverse, hyperbolic tangent inverse, u over square root of two plus c. And I just need to back substitute, but I'm all out of space. Okay, before I back substitute this and finish it off, I'm just gonna rewrite this a little bit. We're gonna get a common denominator. So I can combine these. We'll multiply an x over x here so that we're gonna have an x squared plus one over x. Okay, now we'll bring it back. So we're gonna have minus one over square root of two, tanch inverse our u, which is this thing, square root of, sorry, x squared plus one over x. Don't forget the square root of two plus C and we're done. Okay, that's it. So I think the key really was that multiplying by one over X squared, that seemed to really simplify it a lot. We were able to avoid the partial fractions. This could be kind of a long problem. So we'll stop it there. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.